Hi everyone, uh, it's me, Sarah. Hey. Um, I didn't film these. I should film everything because sometimes you do things as testing and they turn out so successful. So after having a discussion yesterday, so let me have my coffee, I just woke up. After having a discussion yesterday, I think all the day before, in the Let's Resin group, um, and about you know alcohol inks and how they fade and patterns you can do and the things you can create and it got me thinking why can't we use um resin and get similar effects or the effects that we want to get and try rather than it was all blurring or having solid colors and so that's what i thought and and, and the reason for this is i do a lot of my jewelry earrings and hearts with overpour that's fell off the edges of my ocean boards and then I pour them in and you know you get potluck on what you get because it's all mixed colours but it's thickened so they don't they don't blend. Um the colours I used for these they were not thickened um but I used in a different way and I'm gonna show you what I used. So Two little bottles that had the two little nozzles but then I put on there the two little um, tiny uh, uh, that was red I think anyway the matter because I cleaned them and I just cleaned these and soaked them in alcohol ink um, and obviously I'll use them for similar colours but they are clean and because it's resin it's set and cured but it is clean. I'll get rid of that in there so that I make sure I've got a good seal. So that's what I used. So by having the thin nozzle, um, I could aim my resin colours to where I wanted them to be. Some have been a little bit erratic and just put them anywhere. Some have tried to do patterns to see if they would hold. And actually, I'm quite um, amazed at the results because they are very different yet uniform in pairs of jewellery. So, here you go, I'll show you. So, some of them have got um, earring backs on, some of them have not got anything done with them yet. So, as you can see, I did halves and halves, and I did them opposite so that they would be the same, like, from outside to inwards. Or you could turn them around and have them same, same, going both sides. Um, but, really happy with the way that they turned out. Say, so stayed, you know, similar. This one, uh, I didn't quite get the quite same measurements on the silver didn't manage to get it in quick enough um bear in mind this resin was not thick because you can see it has got pigments where it blends because it was still thin but being metallic silver it kind of tried to hold its own more um and silver can take over so you have to be careful um but that was trying to do a little heart but i do actually quite love that that's got the little heart in the middle I do love that, it's quite abstract. And I like the way you can see the, the red coming through the metallic silvers too. Um, this reminds me of Target. Um, I don't know if it does. Um, so those Target employees out there that want a special pair of earrings to match uniform, there you go, I've got them. <laughs> um, love these, these remind me of a Christmas wrapper. Um, but look how the stripes are, are quite, they've turned out quite the same, look at that. I mean, you wouldn't imagine and you can get matching effects like that with resin, would you? Seriously, unless you used an alcohol in, and even then you don't know what you're going to get. It's like random. So to get something where you can design something, um, you know, it's you're still hitting pot luck because it could blend, it could do whatever, you know, where it resin, it does its own thing. Um, so going back over here, uh, again, I tried to do circles like that. And that was a little heart in the middle, but it's kind of gone a bit skewed, which is quite like. But this one, I actually really love. I think that looks really, because that was just crazy lines I did, and then filled in in between. So I think the silver lines first, and then put the red in the gaps before it all joined into one big silver um, heart. Um, and because you put it on the, on, I didn't put anything on the silicone, um, so it would stick to the silicone, so that's why it holds its shape. Um, the back of it blends, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but the actual where it's hit the wrist, the silicone heart, it holds it. So I really love it, but I love that. I do love that. 
Um, again, Christmas wrapper. But look at these how, I mean, you can look if I do it like this. So you have them both on different ears. They're actually going to be like, you know, you could do it that way, whichever way you want it. But I tried to do them so they were going like in a V, you know what I mean? Um, so that worked. Um, and I love that. I think they are so unique. I love them. And then again, these, how could you possibly, possibly get matching hearts that look so the same? Um, again, I think I tried to do hearts in the bottom and then it just blended, it all melded before I put the silver in, into like a blob at the bottom. Um, but look how even the edges and the way the silver's blended, I tried to keep it un uh, uniform with the amount of silver I put in each mould as like when I was doing matching pairs, I did the same pressure on the bottle and I did the same lines and the same number of lines and in the same spaces and the same technique in both of them. And it worked, look at that. I mean, they are so similar. I think they've got like slight difference here, the slightest, but looking from afar, they are a matching pair of earrings. So whether you like them or not, it's a different story. Yes, I'm doing some um, uh, new key rings. The letters um which i just these are, i'm just trying this first time i've used this small by the way so i don't know it might all be a fail um i had leakage on that one massive leakage so yeah i'm just trying different techniques and i thought i would just share with you because i've just demolded these and i thought they're just too good to not share with the group and give you the chance different colors different resins um the resin I used, by the way, was Crystal Set from uh, DIY Composites. It wasn't Let's Resin, but um, I wanted to, I do use uh, Let's Resin pigments. And these were, the silver is Let's Resin <clears throat> pigment. I'll show you. Uh, look at my nails. Um, Let's Resin Metallic Powder Silver. So that's the silver that I actually used. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous metallic silver. Um, depending on how much powder you put in, depends on the thickness, depending on when you start and how thick the resin is. Obviously some are thinner and you can see them blended more so. And then as it got thicker towards the end, it became more of a solid color, not blending um, when you mix them. That was just the last run overs. Oh, this, sorry. It's hard to do when I look into the camera. This here, I just did, like, you, when you do a dirty pour, I just did that in one spot and just poured it from the bottle. And look at the lines. And I know it's very subtle, but you can actually see, like, the dirty pour lines in the silver with the shades, and I just think that's great. So there's so many different things you can do by using these little mini bottles. I got these, I think, from Wish. Um, but I know you can get them elsewhere. Um, or it could have been Etsy, I'm not sure. Um, but these nozzles come as separate. Or did they come with that? I can't remember. But there's all different size nozzles. So you can get, if you were doing writing, say, for example, um, with thick resin, uh, there's different, different size holes in the, um, uh, what do you call it? Nozzle. Um, different size hole nozzles and they all come on different colors so you know you can you can visually see once you know which ones are which uh, for quick access but even if you don't want to use those nozzles and you put in them like when I was doing these like I've got sellotape on the front and um, I used this just to pour it behind and direct rather than using a stick and get the red behind there that's what got me using the bottle to start with and then I thought I'd try, because I had so much left over in the bottles, I thought I'll use the leftovers. I hate to waste resin. And you never know with your leftovers what successes you're going to have. So always try something, put your mind outside the box and try something new. And look what I created, everyone. So yes, this will be a technique I will use again because I absolutely love it. I think they're just great. So there you go. I wanted to share with you. Um, I love resin. I am an addict, like Sherry. 
Um, I am an absolute addict and I do this for my own mental health. You know, especially through all this COVID, especially through everything, but I suffered mental health like depression for years and I never had a way to shut it down. And now when I'm feeling low uh, and struggling, I come into my little craft room and create. And this, I, once I found resin, it was like my world just changed. Um, and I don't say it's going to change for everyone, but it did for me. I found a creative outlet that could shut off all the noises in my head, all the depression, all the worries, and I just play. And I totally enjoy what I do. And now I do these little videos because uh, just to share with you my creations, but also eventually, hopefully, to get an income from it because I'm on a low income because I have spine and hip damage. Um, and I want to be able to increase my subscribers, which I don't know why people don't subscribe because um, I try new techniques all the time. And yes, I don't I do not do lots and lots of videos, but I try and share what I do learn. Um, so please subscribe, don't just watch, please press that subscribe button, press the like button for me and the, you know, the notification bell so that you can see when I do create something um, that you can, um, learn from it and I'll try and recreate these again uh, soon and do a new video where I show exactly what I'm doing um, so that you can see how I did these. Um, if you like them let me know leave a comment as well for me and if you've done similar with these bottles or you've had successes with these bottles um, let me know. Um, if there's something you want me to try with the bottles or you know with the Let's resin products or, you know, the, um, you know, even with these, you know, if you want me to try something, let me know. And um, if I can, and I've got the stuff to do it, I certainly will try. Um, so let me know in the comments down below what you think. All right, well, on that note, I'll let you go. This was only meant to be like a two minute uh, show. And I've gone into chit, 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 chat. Um, but anyway, have a great day, take care, enjoy your resin and God bless.